Is it green? Yes. Very. Alright, this really weird song just came on as soon as I started this video. But that means it's time for a weird build. It's like Horizon when they have the skill songs. But we're gonna do a weird build on it. I actually really like this song. It's my guilty pleasure. It's really weird. It makes no sense whatsoever. It's stupid, but I like it. But let's go with customizing this thing. This is obviously a street racing vehicle, so we can actually customize it. Remove that front plate because it is not required. We are in... You need it in... California? I think you might need it in California. Whatever, you don't need it on the crew. Let's put on let's put on some of the, the light covers. I like with the light covers. The KTM wheels can stay for now. Wing mirrors, I'm gonna change. Could put a little bit of paint on it. Color switcheroo. I like the carbon with the paint. And the skirt. So this I was not expecting. I was thinking a bike was coming for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. But hey. I'm glad that this is actually here. I'm glad that we've actually got another vehicle that we can customize. A street racing vehicle that's very, very different to the other vehicles we have available. This adds a nice little wing to the back. And this adds a big meaty wing that really looks and really reminds me of, like, the aerial atom. That's exactly what I'm getting vibes for. This is actually the rear bumper. So that's, like, the top cover. I'm going to go through these now. Dual exit exhaust there. Double. D different sizes. How, what do we call it? Bi exhausts. But you know, bi turbo. Bi exhausts. Yes, indeed. Put on. Whoa. That actually changes the whole back of the bike. I'm going to go with that option, I think. Without the painted lights. Looks incredible. Interior color. Uh, I, I don't know what design I'm going to go with yet, so I don't know. But now it's time for me to look through the wheels, which is a very fine art and may take a while. 29. These look like proper race wheels. Let's put them on. Bit of, bit of less color for the, for the lads. And medium size because we need that extra tire width for the proper race car street race car That's what I'm talking about now livery top 100 I'm gonna see if anyone else has made a great livery that I can steal because I am really bad at making them It's been a little bit longer since when I made the Ferrari So maybe we're gonna find something cool this camo livery I've got to say actually works really well. I know supercars of London did a camo kind of wrap on his car and I I, I, I like the idea of it like him and what, what is it come to actually driving something like that? Not not so much. Like, I think I would be the same if I did the same idea to my car if I did something like that. You know, the first thing I want to do is remove this green. Because I don't think I like this green very much. We can go with a yellow, which would be quite nice. I didn't put the wrap on. Green. We got a... Oh, it's orange. It's that orange. This is the orange that I actually know goes on the car. It's a manufacturer color. Exo of course it's going to be that color. Let's throw it out. It's the KTM color. It's exactly what I'm going to throw on it. Top 100. I have no idea about these. I don't know anything about these kind of light shell vehicles, but we're going to find out about them today, which is... We're experimenting. We're learning together, me and you. I'm going to be honest. I do like this design with the white stripes. It makes it look like a proper kind of track racer vehicle Yula device. Yes. But... Part of me wants to go with something a little bit more out of the ordinary because that's exactly what this car deserves right now It's just something a little bit different. I could go with Final Fantasy I have no idea about Final Fantasy whatsoever, but I could pull the Final Fantasy wrap on it. I may actually go For a digital camo All right, we're just gonna go all out and we're doing a digital camo look I say digital That's not a digital camo, but you know what I mean a, a, a white camo is what I'm talking about, but yeah I think now we can actually do the interior color a little bit. Yes. This is the perfect perfect music for making this this, this vehicle. Interior material. What's well, actually changing? I have no idea whatsoever. I'm going to put in material two. And interior. There's only one option, which is the color of the seats, it looks like. <laughs> but hey, it's got customization. This thing, if you didn't know, the DLC cars are all free. You will get them a week later if you don't have the season pass. If you have the season pass, this vehicle is now available to you. I do wish you could change with the, polo, the color of the car. You could change the spring colors. Little, the orange little accents around the car. That would be super sweet. The color of the screen. Maybe a little tint on that window would look amazing. But I wanted to customize it downstairs today because normally we customize vehicles upstairs. And this gives you a better look of it. And we don't have the blooming TV blowing in the background. Definitely not one of the fastest vehicles here. But it may actually do pretty well considering the fact that it's so like light and so minimal. See, 138 is the level. The BMW M2 is already much better. This Vanquish, I think, I upgraded, actually. The Hummer is 22277. Two, two, yeah, the, the numbers are all over the place on my game right now. I don't know what's going on. I think I broke it. But I've got no drive. There we go. My driver's out. I wish I... Oh, it's a raccoon! I don't think I've seen a raccoon in the game yet. There's an animal just next to my car. Look at him. Isn't he actually cool? He's hilarious. I love him. As soon as I go, he's going to disappear. Though. Mr. Raccoon! He's just despawned altogether. Okay. Radio off. It's serious time. It sounds like a bike. 
But it sounds like a BMW. It sounds a bit like the BMW M2 a little bit. All right, let's go for a drive, shall we? Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. I'm excited to drive this thing because it's just... I like that they added this car. It's totally different to the vehicles we have already. The FFXK was a cool addition, but it's very similar to the vehicles we already have. I mean, it's kind of hard to go diff like for a different vehicle in that class of car. But this, this is a street racing car, and it's completely different. I reckon if you fully upgrade this thing, it might be one of the best vehicles because of how light it is and stuff. We need to see more of this, like K-trims and that sort of thing. I like different vehicles. They expand what I like normally drive, for example, especially when it comes to DLC vehicles because... Obviously, you want to try out all the DLC vehicles. It turns pretty well as well. Go in a bit of off-roading. I know. I know. Bit of, it's a street racing car. What am I doing some off-roading for? I don't... It's a good question. And in the front view, ready to race, it says on the, on the thing. Yeah. It's a race mode button. I push the race mode button and I go proper race mode. Oh, my God. You know, I've got to say, it handles pretty well already. It, it does... I don't want to say it understeers. It does understeer, but it's not the, the horrible type of understeer where... I have a problem with some cars on this game where it understeers so badly that I have to really go off like the throttle and really brake to get the turn in properly. But this feels like it understeers the right amount as to where it makes you not die, but makes you take corners pretty well. I am off road, that's why I'm sliding everywhere. I'll, I'll demonstrate it better. You know, something I was thinking about with this game, normally when it comes to when it comes to games like this where you have a lot more uh, open world freedom. I do like the idea that not I can't teleport everywhere. It's pretty sweet But now that I'm doing videos like the builds I do wish you could set like where you've traveled there You could fast travel there. That would be a nice feature like you could on the, the original game because of the fact that well, there's so many areas that I'd like to go but Sometimes I'm deterred from that because I have to drive all the way there again If I could go there and then fast travel there or have specific points where you can fast travel like fast travel locations You can go out and find I know the photo uh, Opportunities you can use to do that, but they're not everywhere, you know So I, I, I hope that they in the future they have something more like that I don't want to be able to just randomly fast travel everywhere if I do I want to have to buy a perk or something like that like that I have to do on uh, Forza for example I think you have to buy a house now on Forza to do one of those which speaking of houses I need what, what what are the other houses that why I guess we fiend dudes soon, but you'll see what I mean here It does on this day. You can definitely tell it's pushing the limits of the tires on the car But it almost feels right, but now I I want to do my basic idea of if you remove ESP Oh, it already has removed the ESP and traction control and slide help So it's actually a pretty controllable car considering that all those are off. I mean it would explain the fact you know why why I was spinning out on the off-road although I, I, I never normally do that although I was off-road yes in a street car, but There you go 280 pink parts on it I've got way too many pink parts in street race to not do this to the expo and give it a go I'm hoping that the next year I'll actually have to grind another car class to, to max that thing out because I I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't grinded out that many car classes since but look at this thing fly Oh my god, okay up to spin I was gonna say up to speed already. I gotta see how I turn. Oh, look at that proper slide as well. That is awesome. I think I'm gonna turn off that thing on every other. That's a that's a player, I think. I'm gonna turn off the uh, the setting on every single car now. The slide help, at least with street racing, because it makes me feel more reward. Like the the slides are much more rewarding in the fact that you are controlling them. But this, I've got to say, is a pretty sweet car indeed. I might. I don't want to show it because I've shown you the race a million times before. I might actually run this on a race that you, a race that everybody knows by heart, pretty much by heart at this point, which is going to be the strip. And I need to change it to the right actual one, which is this one and the south strip. I can put it on hard. I'm going to do a quick run of it. You'll see the results. Not my best run ever because I was sliding absolutely everywhere and I, it's struggling to regain traction, but that feels awesome. It feels like you're pr driving a almost a hypercar style vehicle in street racing. Not as fast, but the amount of grip and stuff it has, even with the traction off and the stability and the slide help and everything, it's just amazing. All right, so we got some nice parts as well to slap onto other cars in the future. Those are all going to be 280. No, no, no problem about it, but there you go. That is my review on the Expo. Hopefully you enjoyed I feel like I actually did something useful today when I did a car, car review video <laughs> If you enjoyed this video my friends, please do me a favor smash that like button subscribe if you are new And I'll see you guys in the next video until next time